What's happening guys? Welcome back to another Quick Tip Tuesday here on the channel. Today we're going to be talking about how you can use your J, K, and L keys to control the playback here in DaVinci Resolve. There's some great features here using these three keys. So let's just jump right into DaVinci Resolve and I'm going to show you how you can use these keys and combinations of the keys to fast forward, play slow, forwards, backwards, all that kind of fun stuff. And you should see all of the keys as I'm pressing them pop up on the screen here so you kind of know what I'm doing. And I will also actually create a little freebie for you guys where you can go and download uh, the chart here that's going to tell you the different combinations of what the keys do. So definitely check out the link in the description below. It'll send you over to my Buy Me A Coffee page where you can go download this PDF for free. So without any further ado, let's jump into DaVinci Resolve. All right, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve. I'm just going to actually go ahead and mute this so we don't have to hear it. But I just have a random clip up here in my timeline, and we're going to use the keys J, K, and L on your keyboard to navigate around the timeline instead of having to drag around like this. So put three fingers, one on J, one on K, and one on L. And if you press the L key, that's going to move forward. It's going to play at regular speed through your clip. If you press the K button, that's going to stop your playhead from playing through your clip. And if you press J, it's going to go backwards through your clip. It's very similar to using like the arrow keys, for example. So that's pretty basic. But where it gets kind of cool and pretty fun is if you use different combinations of these keys. For example, if I press L twice, it's going to play through at two times the speed. If I press it again, it goes through even faster. If I want to stop it, go ahead and press the K key. Now, let's say I want to do the same thing, but in reverse. Well, use the J key, press it twice. You're going through at double the speed. Press it three times, you're going through at three times the speed. Press K to stop it. So if you want to watch through your video kind of in a uh, two times mode, a little bit quicker, you just want to get through it, well, there you go. That's how you can do it easily. So let's say you just want to jump ahead into fast speed. You don't want to press L a couple times. You can press Shift plus L, and that's going to jump into high speed playback. And if you press it again, it's going to go even faster, pretty much in a similar fashion to pressing the L multiple times. And you can do the same to play quick in reverse. Just hold shift, press J once, press it twice, and it's going to play even faster than pressing just the J key by itself. So using that shift key is just going to help it play faster, quicker. So let's say you just want to play back in slow motion because you're trying to see something that's going on in your clip. Well, if you hold shift and press K, it's going to play back at half the speed. If you hold shift and press K again, it's going to slow down even slower and play at quarter speed. And if you press shift plus K one more time, it's going to slow down and play at one eighth of the speed. So that's how you can watch your clips in slow-mo playback here. Now we've got even more options of cool things we can do here. Let's say, for example, we want to go frame by frame. Well, you can use your arrow keys. We all know how to do that. And if you don't, I did make a video about that. So you should know that tip already. But if you wanted to just keep your fingers on the J, K, and L keys and move ahead frame by frame, if you hold K and just press L, you'll go ahead frame by frame. Now, if you press K and hold it and you press L and also hold that down, it'll like play this. ahead in slow motion. Kind of cool, right? For how and you hear the audio also go slow with it. And this works for the same in reverse. If you hold down K and tap J, it's going to go frame by frame in reverse. Likewise, you can hold down K and J at the same time, and it's going to play in reverse in slow motion. And it also makes you sound like you're talking in another language. All right, guys, so there you go. There's some cool keyboard shortcuts here using the J, K, and L keys on your keyboard. And remember, if you guys want to go over and download that freebie that has the little chart that tells you which keys do what, check out the link in the description below. It'll take you over to my Buy Me A Coffee page. You can go download that for free. So I hope you guys found this clip helpful. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want more Quick Tip Tuesday, more DaVinci Resolve tutorials, and even some stuff about how to grow your YouTube channel. Definitely hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace! Real quick, guys, uh, price cut on the mugs here, $9.99 now over at Teespring. You can find a link down below the video here. You should see the mug over there, and uh, it just helps support the channel here and everything we do. And you get a cool little mug, and yes, uh, there's actually coffee in there. Some people think there's no coffee in here sometimes. There is. There is. Also thinking about creating a little beanie here with the word focus on it, something like that. I don't know. When you got a bald head like me in the winter, you always got to keep it covered, you know? Keep a little hat on my head so I don't freeze. So uh, if you guys are interested in that, let me know too. Thinking about creating that. So, oh, by the way, these sweatshirts, really nice too. Super cozy, man. Nice and warm. Go check those out. And if you pick anything up, thank you guys for supporting the channel. I really appreciate it.